Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com. This tutorial will look at using the payment function in Excel. Now the payment function is a financial function that is used to calculate the repayments on a loan based on a constant interest rate and constant payments. I have some information on screen at the moment. I have a loan amount of 150,000, uh, paying it back over 20 years term and an annual interest rate of 7%. You may notice as well that I have named ranges for each of these bits of information. So whilst writing the function, I could just click on the cell, but I'm gonna show the use of some named ranges here as well by referring to their named range. So I would like to be able to write a payment function to calculate what my monthly payments would be based on this information. I'm gonna start off by typing equals, and payment. And as we can see, the, the Excel description is that it calculates the payments for a loan based on constant payments and constant interest rate. Let's put my opening bracket to start it off. And the first bit of information it wants is the interest rate. Now for the interest rate, I'm gonna type interest, referring to that named range we looked at. And I'm gonna divide it by 12 because that 7% is an annual interest rate and I am making monthly payments. Let's find out what a monthly rate is. I'll press the comma to move on to the next argument, which is the number of payment periods. For this, I'm gonna type term and multiply that by 12. The term is the named range for the 20 years of payments. I'm making monthly payments. So I'm gonna do this calculation to find out how many monthly payments that is over the course of this loan. A comma will move me on to the next argument, which is for the present value. Now the present value, I'm going to type amount, which is 150,000. That is the current value we have. Now the next two arguments, FV and type, are optional. That is what the square brackets indicate. Because they're optional, I'm going to decide not to use them at this point, and I'll run this function to find that my monthly payments are 1,162, or 63 really. Now, although I haven't used them and it runs fine, it's worthwhile mentioning what these other arguments do. So I'm just gonna come back up to look at editing this function. And the next argument is FV, which is future value. Because I didn't enter one previously, that set itself to zero, to so say that the loan would be completely paid. Maybe I've put down a deposit at the start, so maybe I'm only paying it back to 7,000 and not all the way back. And for the last argument, which is type, this is when the payments are going to be made. Are they going to be made at the beginning of the period? If so, I should enter one. Or at the end of the period? If so, I should enter zero. Or omit the argument. Because I omitted it previously, I didn't enter one, it set itself a zero, so my payments were made at the end of each month. If I'm making my payments at the beginning of each month, I'm just going to enter a number one in there. So that now, the payments are 1,169. So it is £7 more than uh, they were a moment ago. And that is, that is the payment function. Thank you for watching. Please check out some other tutorials at computergargard.com. I hope to see you all here from you soon.